Yeah. Anything new for me? What would you say if I told you I'm looking at him right now through a window? You're looking at who? At the Pope. Who do you think I'm looking at? You mean to say you're... That's right. I got my camera planted in a window across from his living room. As we speak? As we speak, Mr. Doe. Sarah. Anything uh, interesting going on, Frank? Subjects on his couch talking to someone on the telephone. You think he was looking right at me? I want a lobotomy. Um, don't don't say anything yet. Just listen to me. I was driving home tonight and it hit me like a bolt of lightning. I, I want a lobotomy. And I never ask for anything. I know that this is for me. I've been called by mental health. Will you help me, please? A lobotomy? Are you kidding? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Don't you think that I deserve peace of mind? Of course I do. Well, I want a lobotomy. And you're going to help me get one, right? If my girlfriend wants a lobotomy, and damn it, she's gonna get a lobotomy. She's gonna get the best fucking lobotomy they make. The very best. Hood March! You see that shining city on the hill? So, yes, sir! We'll burn the fucker to the ground because the spirits are coming. Spirits? What do you want in our house? What do you want in our home? This is our home. Raymond, this is our home. We be in kin, right? It's their house, Bill. Where you going, Raymond? Yes. Um, I lost a child twice. After the second time, Antonio went crazy. He, he smashed everything in, in the house, and he disappeared. He asked a friend to come back and, and get some things, but he wouldn't send any message. I thought he might change his mind. That hasn't happened so far. I need to find out why I'm alone. Why I lost Antonio. Take the phone. Hold the phone. Susan. Susan, hold the phone. Hold the phone! Calm down, Dad! Give me that. Sit down. I said sit down. Don't. Treat someone that way. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> you know, guess what? We saw The Master last night. So good. Excellent, incredible photography. A lot of films acting. out right now that are mm. really great. Did you get that it was about Scientology? Well, see, I feel like the media's making a big deal about that, but it's not the key to the film that it's made out to be. I think you have to be very literal and see it in terms of Hegel's master-slave dialectic. Mm. You should read Kojak. I love Kojak. He's a detective. He's smart. Not Kojak, Kojev. Kojev really focused on the master-slave dialectic in his lectures on Hegel. Terence Malick, of course, is steeped in the philosophy of Heidegger, and you could see a kind of anxiety of influence, a la Howard Bloom at work in Anderson's work via the Malick's, not only in Anderson's iconic camera work, which clearly echoes Malick, but also in their explicit antagonistic philosophical allegiances. That's the real wager of the film. Hey, that's beautiful. Dave, you, Dan, you've seen The Master, haven't you? No, I haven't had a chance. It's really good. It's really good. Incredible. It's really beautiful. Η μη κυβερνητική της οργανώσης εδώ πέσαν πολλά λεφτά. Αυτά τα λεφτά έκαναν τον κόσμο να αλλάξει κατευθείαν. Εκεί που τους λέγαν 
λαθρομετανάστες, βρώμικους και τέτοια, μετά ο ίδιος τους έλεγε δυστυχισμένους πρόσφυγες. Πιστεύετε για τους πρόσφυγες που έρχονται τώρα, σας δίνουν κάποια, κάποια αίσθηση, έχετε κάτι να πείτε. Για τον τόπο μας είναι, δηλαδή, για το νησί μας είναι ζημιά. Θα χάσουμε τον τουρισμό, το είναι σίγουρο. Γιατί όποια ακρογυαλιά πιάσετε, βλέπετε σωσίβια και βουλιαγμένα και ρημαγμένα όλα, όλα με τα μένα έσω.